Underneath, the Regal line utilizes a 2.0-liter turbo 4 rated at an estimated 250 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. The latter figure drops to 260 pounds FT with the front-wheel drive that's standard on the Sportback, and all-wheel drive is available on all models. Front-wheel drive Regal Sportbacks use a 9-speed automatic transmission, while all-wheel drive versions shift power to the wheels via an 8-speed automatic. The Tour X sits higher off the ground than a typical wagon, but it's not clear just how much ground clearance it will offer when it hits the market. It is, however, 3.4 inches longer overall, bringing it to 196.3 inches from bumper to bumper. That's hefty, 7 inches longer than an Outback and more than a foot above a Volvo V60 Cross Country, the two models Buick says it's targeting. Predictably, the Tour X is roomy inside, offering 73.5 cubic feet of maximum cargo volume with the second row of seats folded forward. That's a figure that exceeds both of its rivals, but, again, it's not a huge shock. The Tour X should nearly mirror the Sport Deck in terms of pricing, albeit minus the mid-level premium trim level. The 2018 Regal Duo marks a major redo for Buick, but one the brand may have needed. After all, its outgoing Regal was widely lauded as an undiscovered gem, emphasis on the undiscovered, since it didn't exactly fly off of dealer lots.